Hello and welcome to a Stracon tutorial video. In this video I will be focusing on 3D cube view and 3D modeling. First let's focus on the 3D modeling space. Here you can see the global coordinate system x, y, z and the grid which is drawn in the x, y plane. On the right hand side you can see several options. Uh, first is lock view which locks the current view and enables any rotations. Next you can make the editing space a plane which only uh, enables editing inside the XY plane. You can then uh, enable or disable snip, uh, snapping to global coordinate uh, axis and enable or disable visibility of grip points. Settings can be found here when, where you can change the line spacing and the minimum size of the grid and its visibility. Moving inside the 3D space is uh, done by pressing the middle mouse uh, key and dragging the mouse. Rotation is done uh, by left clicking and dragging on the cube in your left corner. By clicking on a certain square on this cube the view will rotate to that uh, specific view. You can always return to the basic view by clicking the model. You can also rotate by uh, right clicking on a certain point and rotating around that. The foundation of each project is the project structure. The project structure can be found here and is organized as a sort of 3D layers. Each project can have a terrain, several buildings, stories and rooms. For this particular project I will create a new building, let's call it building 1. The origin of the building can be set here, so x, y and z coordinates, rotation and location. It is important to note at this point that all the uh, units in Stracon are centimeters related. So building 1 and inside this building I click on the building and I create new story. Story 1 which is at uh, coordinate Z0 and story 2 which will have a Z coordinate of 300 centimeters. When our project structure is organized we can start by 3D modeling. By selecting a certain building or a story we uh, ensure that the newly created object will be a part of this story. So we select story 1 and we go to the object step. Here we select a cuboid command for example and create a simple 3D cuboid. A number of options appear. Here you can choose the material of the object you can choose from all the materials available in the administration. You can determine the type of the object and several other options are available. In the left bottom corner you see the instructions that are related to a certain command. We have to specify the first point of a cuboid. So let's say we specify it in the coordinate origin. Now we have to specify the mention in X direction. We simply follow the instructions that are displayed in the left corner and we specify the dimension in Y direction and also in the Z direction. We can type the dimensions or we can simply click anywhere and define the dimensions like this. We end the command by right clicking anywhere in the 3D space. By hovering over the 3D object 
we can see a number of information about this object. Double clicking on this object, this window appears where we can change the data. Let's change the name to cube1. We can also change the part type and layer material and some other information. These blue grip points appear since we enabled the grip points command. We can change the dimensions of this 3D object by simply clicking on the points and dragging them to another location. You can always undo a certain step by typing Ctrl Z or by using the undo command in the left top corner. We again uh, end the selection by right clicking in the 3D space. You can edit this simple 3D object by going to the edit tab and using one of the modeling uh, commands. If we select the object, more commands are available. We can now, for example, copy the cuboid. We specify the reference point, and since we enabled the axis snap option, our copy root automatically snaps to x, y, or z direction. In the options, we can uh, define the number of copies. We just want the copies to be one. We again end the command by right clicking. We can also use several other editing options, such as, for example, extrude area. We click on the surface that we want to extrude, and we can define here the extrusion value, or we can define the extrusion value on ourselves. We can also divide area by defining uh, first the area that we want divided and then by defining the division line. We confirm by right clicking and now we can extrude only a part of this surface. We can slope also the areas by selecting the area and simply sloping it. Several other uh, edits are possible and this can be done for objects such as cuboids, cylinders and all other objects. When inserting a beam object such as wall, beam, column or slab, more information is an uh, input here. First, we choose also the material, the thickness, the wall height, and so on. Several other options are available here. Let's say our wall starts here, and I simply draw the wall where I want it to be. I end again the command by right clicking and I rotate my view to see the wall.